Yes? Outfield. Hey, uh, fake Sean Connery. It's uh, fake Sean Connery. How often do I have to tell you that? Right, uh, sir, Sean. What do you want? Are you, uh, are, are you doing anything right now? Not right now. Your mother just left. Cool. So, um, I got an email from a guy who- I said your mother was just here, Outfield. Yeah, yeah, fine. So, this guy's in New York, and, and they had all of these problems- Didn't you hear me? Your mother and I were having sexual intercourse. Right, I got that. So, they had all this trouble with, like, power outages and subway flooding and, and you know, wind and water damage and no internet and the garbage piling up everywhere and rats the size of collie pups and, you know, sewage coming in. Yes, the- yes, I know all about disaster. I was in Zardoz, remember? But, but this guy, Tom, told me that our podcast had helped him get his mind off of it while he was going through the city and, you know, doing what he could to- Looting, you mean. Well, yes, there was probably a little bit of that, but he was mostly trying to- And rape. Don't forget that. Right, rape. I certainly never do. Uh Uh-huh. Well, anyway, he was trying to make do- Ah, rape. Good times. Uh Uh-huh. So, Sir Sean, this guy said some really nice things about us and our podcast, and, and said that it helped him through a hard time. I understand. You do? Yes. You've never gotten a compliment before, and you don't know how to deal with it. Well, I... What I do, Outfield, is find a woman, any woman, and slap her. Slap her hard, and slap her quick. That evens the odds. What are you talking about? This day was bound to come. Of all the hours you spend podcasting, surely someone besides me would get a little joy out of it. You get joy out of my podcast? Oh, certainly. I laugh at you every time you're on the air. Pathetic and sad wastes of humanity have tickled my funny bone ever since my days in Edinburgh. Okay. So, why are you darkening my door? Spit it out, boy. Well, I'd like to do something to let him know his message made my day. You know, I I figured I'd get you to help me. Ask me to help you. Right, right, ask you to help me. And, you know, maybe do a, a little comedy skit. Maybe... Something mocking the untouchables. or He pulls a knife, you pull a gun, that sort of thing. Yeah. Look, I was thinking that we'd do a sort of variation on that. But instead of Kevin Costner, you know, trying to take down Al Capone, it would be me trying to make a successful new Star Wars movie. Weak. Because, you know, they're making another Star Wars, apparently. And I, and I thought it would be fun to pretend that, that George Lucas was Capone. And I'm trying to undo the damage he did with the prequels. So I'd ask your advice. Retarded. So you'd say something like, uh, you know, he pulls a Gungan, you pull a hut. He pulls out midichlorians, and you pull... Outfield, that idea is so gay that the Republican Party is passing laws to ban it. Hey, I, I worked really hard on that. Well, that reminds me of your mother again. For over an hour, the two of us... Okay, okay. So what do you suggest? How about a song? What, singing a song together? You and me? Like something like... No. Me singing a song alone. I don't need you. Well, what what do you want to sing? I don't know. You pick something. Really? Anything I want? Yes. You think I'm afraid of you? When I was seven years old in Portobello, there was a bloke twice the size of you making fun of my chest hair. So I took his scrotum in my hand. Okay, okay, I get the picture. I just, I I don't know why you won't do my Star Wars sketch, but you're willing to sing a song at the drop of a hat. Because I'm talented, Outfield, and you're not. Simple as that. All right, I'll pick a song. But you'd better sing it. Bring it on, you panty-wearing daffodil. Any song. Any song. I haven't got all day. All right. Thanks, Sir Sean. Hit it. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. She's going off about something that you said. Because she doesn't get your humor. Like I do. Hmm. Well, I'm in my room. It's a typical Tuesday night. I'm listening to the kind of music she doesn't like. And she'll never know your story like I do. 
But she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts. She's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole time. If you could see that I'm the one who understands you have been here all along. So why can't you see you belong with me? You belong with me. Hmm. Walk in the streets with you in your worn out jeans. I can't help thinking this is how it ought to be. Laughing on a park bench, thinking to myself, Hey, isn't this easy? And you've got a smile that could light up this whole town. I haven't seen it in a while since she brought you down. You say you're fine, I know you better than that. Hey, what's you doing with a girl like that? She wears high heels, I wear trainers. If your girl's out of line, it's all right to cane her. Do what you can to make her understand. But if she doesn't, please, you give the back of your hat, Sir Sean. Sorry. Understand you. Been here all the time, so why can't you see? You belong with me here. You belong with me, standing by and waiting at your back door. All this time, how could you not know, baby? You belong with me. You belong with me. Yes. A lovely song. What a lovely ish. Mm. I remember you driving to my house in the middle of the night. I'm the one who makes you laugh when you know you're about to cry and know your favorite songs. You tell me about your dreams. I think I know where you belong, and it's right here with me. Can't you see that I'm the one who understands you? I've been here all the time, so why can't you see? You belong with me. Standing by and waiting at your back door all this time How could you not know, baby? You belong with me You belong with me You know, that song was terrible Its lyrics sounded like they were created by a child You sure you didn't write it? I like the song. Yes, well, I agreed to it, I suppose. Well, thanks for doing that, Sir Sean. Seriously. Well, it was for charity, so Well, I... no, no, I never said it was for charity. Well, you said something about the survivors of Hurricane Ursula Andres. And... Hurricane Sandy. Well, uh, and it was. For one, at least. Wait. One solitary survivor? I sang that revolting number that sounded like a bad Taylor Swift song. For only one person? Please tell me it was a woman, at least. Well... For a man? He, um, uh, he has a fiancé. Is she attractive, at least? You have no idea. Ah, <laughs> that's better. Actually, I, I have no idea either. Thanks, ma'am.